Hi, this is Darren Drew from D. Drew Guitars. I'm going to give you some more tips and tricks. <laughs> okay. Um, first off, when you start doing fret job, whatever, on a guitar with a body, you want to, this is a thick nylon sheet, tape it on because you have so many chances of like hitting the saw into here, into the body. You don't want to make any damage onto the body whatsoever. You actually hit the, the or touch the frets 22 times. Um, I know I've counted them. I've worked for an import company for years and did, I did literally hundreds of fret jobs on a body blank like this and had to start out radiusing the, the fretboard. But so I, I, you know, I've done this <laughs> hundreds of times. Anyway, protect both ends of it, of your guitar, you know, your headstock as well. But if you remember, I start, I tried a new method to use a iron to heat up the frets instead of a soldering iron and an iron is so much faster so much better uh, it's, it's amazing difference um, night and day and I don't know if you can see from there but see these first four they don't look near as nice as all the rest of these okay because um, I used my method instead of everybody else's method um, because there had to be a better way and I knew that so I came up with one and the iron is brilliant so anyway so what I first did was I used my radiusing block to just hit the tops of the um, the fretboard, get all that, you know, just the tops of the glue off. And then I used a X-Acto knife saw like this to reestablish my, my fret groove, okay? Um, and then so I did that. And then I used a fret slot um, saw, which is like this. And the reason why I have the plastic on here is it only allows the saw to go as deep as the tang is going to go because I don't want to go any farther down and make, you know, the slots deeper on the sides because you'll see it later. Um, so I have that plastic on there, which allows this only to go so deep. And I know what you're getting, what you're thinking. Why am I cutting through the binding? Because the owner wanted me to. Um, otherwise I wouldn't have, I probably would have done this glue stuff a little bit different, but if you have binding that you don't cut through, you need a saw like this, um, and then you would just go in between, you know, from binding to binding to clean it all out and have it deep enough for your fret tank to go down and just barely miss the bottom. That's what you want to do. Okay, so now once it's at this state, I will use my straight edge to make sure, and I would, did all the slots actually with my, with my um, saw. So then I want to make sure that the fretboard is exactly flat and then I will start to radius it with my, with my um, radiusing block. This one does 16 and 12. I'm going to do a 12 degree radius. And you want to keep your sandpaper clean and your slots clean. Um, it just saves your sandpaper and it doesn't build up on your, you know, fretboard or whatever. It just makes it come out cleaner. So either use an air hose and blow it out or a vacuum and vacuum it off from both. And, um, so then I will radius it. And then, so then I will continue on from the video from there. I don't like making my videos too long. So anyway, protect both ends. You know, I have my lines, my slots established. So anyway, this is Darren from Deidre Guitars. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.